All right, welcome to another tech segment here on CarCast. This uh, episode sponsored by Discount Tire. With over 50 years of guaranteed customer satisfaction, free puncture repair, and free tire rotation. For all your tire needs, hit them up at www.discounttire.com. And now let's get on with our uh, scientific experiment. Interesting project in our tech section uh, this uh, week. Uh, there's been some controversy about air filters, and uh, uh, being a resourceful guy, came up with my own test bench. What we're going to do with this big mess here uh, on the table today is essentially try a new filter, an old filter, and a fabric cotton gauze filter uh, and see how they compare to each other. The main test here, though, however, is can we clean an air filter? And I say we can. My guess is that we can either vacuum it up or blow it out with an air hose and see a significant improvement over uh, the existing clogged paper filter. Now, the filter that we're going to use was out of my diesel excursion. The filter minder said that this filter was in fact clogged. Indicators on the dash popped up. So I know this is uh, a filter that's due for changing and probably well beyond uh, something you'd want to keep in your car. Uh, we'll hit it up with uh, the equivalent filter, same brand as a brand new filter, and then we'll hit up a uh, replacement gauze cotton filter which is treated with a little bit of an oil uh, uh, film on the, uh, the filter itself. So as we do it, this is our uh, airflow box and basically cardboard box that we made out of uh, an old printer box. So we're recycling here at uh, CarCast. It's a green experiment. Uh, and actually before we jump into that, we should probably start off with any, any dangerous experiment like this. We should start off with uh, 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 safety goggles and safety gloves. Very important if you don't know the outcome. Uh, dangerous things happen, so when we, we do these new type experiments, it's always good to have this stuff ready in case you need it. So that being said, let's get on with the, get on with the show. Our box essentially has a shop vac connected to it. If you can see the hose, uh, basically just a box that forms what Adam would like to call uh, a plenum. And essentially we're going to fire up the vacuum, suck air through the box this way, and uh, plop uh, one of the numerous filters that we have on it. The way that these filters go uh, is not down. You want the filter facing up as it would suck in a car. So the uh, ridge side of the filter is the way that air flows in, so it seems to uh, capture the most dirt. Basically, this is a, like an HVAC uh, vacuum meter. It will tell differential pressure at uh, uh, two input ports, one's plus, one's minus. Uh, in any case, uh, you know, 100, 100 or so bucks, 200 bucks maybe. How many air filters could I have bought for the cost of this? Uh, a crap load, let's say that. So here's what that looks like brand new. Here's a really dirty used one that is, is uh, indicating to be changed. So don't put this back in my car because it's, uh, it's no good. Uh, this is what will go in or uh, likely the nice gauze filter, which is good for some uh, additional flow as they say and we'll find that out uh, to some extent as well. So let's start off with our, our uh, differential pressure meter. We'll connect up to our vacuum port that's uh, uh, taped into the box. We'll pick one of the connections. I think this is the positive. And essentially it's just a rubber rubber hose on the port and uh, we'll hit this thing on and see what we got. So we've got kinds of uh, display going there and uh, reading almost zero. Probably close enough for uh, hand grenade work. And what we're going to do now is fire up the vacuum. You'll have to ignore a lot of the noise that we got going on. Hopefully it's not too bad on the noise. And let's start with our, our dirty filter and pop this on to our sensitive and careful measuring gear. 2.8, let's call it a 2.8, for better or worse. Stock filter clean, and uh, like they say in the filter, if you can see a light through it, it's probably still good. Well, we know this one's good because it's brand new. So around 0 0.4, 0 0.5, so maybe five, six times uh, less reading. So obviously a lot more air is flowing through this because there's less restriction. And what's happening is the box is, uh, the box inside has a vacuum and that's essentially what we're measuring. The cotton gauze filter theoretically should be the best flowing. Even though it's the shortest of the filter, the cotton gauze typically has a lot larger openings in the paper. And a reading of about point, uh, and a point three or so. Let's call it point, point three. Uh, clearly this uh, type of filter, the, the uh, cotton gauze with an oil, seems to flow better than a, a brand new uh, and much larger thickness paper filter. 
So we already know that this is probably the way to go. Uh, if, as long as you oil them up and follow the direction, this is a good filter. Uh, this one happens to be from uh, Spectre. Uh, K&N make them, a bunch of people do it. This is a good filter uh, for the diesel. Uh, and uh, Spectre makes a nice product, relatively inexpensive. This is our dirty filter, and we had a 2.8 eight rating with this. So let's first test is trying to hit it with the vacuum cleaner itself and see if we can vacuum off uh, some of the dirt that's in this filter to get a, 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 a more re less restrictive uh, flow through here. Well, uh, using our dual purpose airflow bench uh, vacuum system, let's hit it up with the vacuum. And the dirt is all on the back side. So I don't know how much we'll be able to get out of this. This is, you know, it's a, it's a really big tall filter. So it'll be hard to tell how much dirt we can get out. We'll give it the bang out too. All right, now we're gonna do the other test. A lot of dirt pouring out of this filter. Looks like a garden day. All right, we banged out a bunch of dirt out of this thing. Uh, we probably could've got a lot more, uh, but let's see if we have any improvement. I can see a little bit more light through the, uh, through the, uh, uh, the filter itself when you hold it up to the light. Now let's go back to our flow bench and see what we get. We start off at a 2.8 uh, and now we're down to about a 2.0. So in a jam definitely helps just banging it out and a little vacuum on it. Now the old gas station trick was basically the air hose and you want to go in the direction obviously opposite that the dirt gets sucked in. Not to make a mess in the shop, we'll just turn this around, place the filter back in the box and just start air hosing. And it looks like we're down to a little over, like maybe 1.2. So that made a, a, a big difference uh, than just the vacuum cleaner. So if you're in a jam, got no bread, got uh, uh, no replacement filter, an air hose and a vacuum probably get you back to at least a 50% mark. I think, if, uh, I think it's fair to say if you're in a jam and got a crappy filter or no money, Go down and get an air hose with a high pressure uh, compressor behind it and uh, blow out the, the, the filter. Uh, good for probably reducing the, uh, uh, the restriction 50% if it's at the clogged level. Uh, stock filter, saves you money, go buy a new one. These are about 15 bucks, so if you can't afford 15 bucks, get an air hose at the gas station or your buddy's shop. Uh, if you got a little bit more money, Pick up the gauze one. Seems to flow by far the best. And in fact, this has been on my truck for about 2,000, 3,000 miles already. So it may even be a little bit uh, uh, soiled as it is, but still outflows them all, even the brand new uh, huge, large Fram filter. So what do we prove? That A, I'm right, and B, you can get some extended life out of the filter. Not the greatest, probably not the best thing to do. Again, if you have a smaller car, the filter is going to be 10 bucks, 8 bucks, or pick up a, uh, uh, an aftermarket filter. These are also reusable, so you know, you, the, extra, the extra bucks you spend on these, uh, probably well worth it. You rinse them, you re-oil them, you pop them back in, and they're almost as good as new, almost. Except for the uh, differential flow meter, you can make this kind of crap at your house. Uh, it's a lot of fun proving things, checking things out, experimenting. Uh, I encourage you to do it. That's how you learn stuff. Anyways, I want to say thanks and see you in the next segment of CarCast. As always, uh, keep the uh, wheel in the spare and the air in the bag. No. <laughs> I'll save that for Adam.